Ball. What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and we got to talk about a pretty interesting problem that all big artists have to face and you should be aware of as an artist on the way up as you climb the ladder because it still applies to everybody in one way or another. So it starts with this realization. Nobody comes up in pop music. Why is that relevant? Well, let's unpack that, break this conversation down. You have big artists like the Migos, you have Taylor Swift, you have Beyonce, Rihanna, Miley Cyrus, so many of these huger artists that a lot of people consider pop artists to this day. But it's getting really interesting because for the first time ever, rap music is popular music. More importantly, it's being acknowledged as popular music. Let me tell you why that's so relevant. If you look at all of these big artists that I named, you realize that you can't come up in pop culture. Everybody in pop culture that's huge started off at a smaller place within culture. They all started in subcultures. Taylor Swift started in country music. Miley Cyrus, country music, and she was a child star. Selena Gomez was a child Disney star. Beyonce with Destiny's Child. Amigos with hip hop. The reason all this is so relevant is because you have to have a culture to drive your music up, to drive you to a popularity before you can move into the next level of popularity, which is pop music. So if you think about the fact that country music, even if you don't like it, is a defined culture, rap music, even if you don't like it, is a defined culture. Having a defined structure culture, even though artists don't like boundaries, gives you what you need to be propelled forward. Because what people do within cultures is they share things. And you as an artist need to be shared. You need your music to be shared. Selena Gomez and Miley Cyrus being associated with a TV show and just the whole child star realm, they had a defined structure, you know, Disney and that whole circuit to be shared within. There has to be some sort of culture that you start in, latch onto, and use that to propel you forward into anything else. It could be a whole nother level within the industry, you know, within music, or it could be into a different field, but you use this culture to drive you to another level. Why that's so important, even to the smaller artists, is so many continue to forget this. When we talk about the niche, they think hip hop is the niche itself. Rap music as a whole is not the niche. You have to still find who you want to speak to, what culture you're gonna associate with to spread your word. And that's really about super strategic branding. You have to be strategic in your branding. I kind of touched on it in the core value video, right? You have to understand those core values and that core thing you're gonna associate with your audience. Where are you guys going to connect? I wanted to do this video as more of an open discussion, really, just because of the fact that a lot of people don't really think about the fact that pop artists are where they are only after they've traveled through other fields. Because the people that you don't necessarily look at, like if you like hip hop, but you don't like country, you missed a lot of the journey these other artists took. It just seems like they're being pushed by this big machine in pop. And that's it for this video. And as I told you guys, I'm gonna keep reminding you, yes, I finally dropped the Master Music Branding Guide. If you're interested in developing a truly powerful brand and understanding the strategic moves that are necessary, not only at the beginning, but being able to revisit it and understanding it from different levels, then check out the Master Music Branding Guide, an expert's guide to artist image. Especially since so many of you guys begged me to do this thing. I got you. Now go on, check it out. And also check out that bonus guide I did, the professional branding guide for dummies. It's not built for building your brand for a fan base, it's building your brand differently in terms of companies. Those are two different brands that every other artist has. I should do a video about that. Yeah, I'm gonna do a video about that. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you.